Hello, my name is Cole Phelps. I'm a second year medical student at Oklahoma State University College of Osteopathic Medicine. And I am today's presenter for the poster titled, Do All Bunions Need Surgery? An Investigation of Google Searches for Hallux Valgus. So first off, what is Hallux Valgus? Well, Hallux Valgus, also known as bunions, is a foot deformity that can happen over time due to orthotics or different types of exercises. It happens about one in four adults with a higher prevalence in females. We do know today that roughly up to 80% of adult internet users will reference the internet at some point for health related information. Uh, the most likely and number one search engine that they would use is Google. And so this has been studied before in a, previ in a previous orthopedic investigation uh, looking at People also ask box preferences that pop up in Google, um, looking at those to characterize frequently asked questions regarding total knee and hip arthroplasty. Uh, yet this hasn't been done for hallux valgus, and so we wanted to investigate the same thing for hallux valgus. And so on October 9th, we searched Google using these four phrases, hallux valgus treatment, hallux valgus surgery, bunion treatment, and bunion surgery. The purpose behind this was is that can we use medical terms to search up articles and see what pops up, but also the majority of people don't talk in medical terms. And so we had to search as well what just regular people would search, and that would just be bunions, that we just know them as bunions. And so for each search term, we used a free Chrome extension, SEO minion, until a, minu a minimum of 200 frequently asked questions were produced. Um, and then we extracted those, both uh, the frequently asked questions and their sources. So we identified the question that was asked and we classified that using the Rothwell classification. Uh, we then categorized the sources and assessed their levels of transparency and quality using the JAMA benchmark and the brief discern tool and both assessed um, uh, the questions uh, regarding to treatment. Um, and those are specifically used for questions regarding to treatment. So our Google search return um, returned us 299 unique frequently asked questions after removing duplicates and unrelated facts. Um, the majority of those questions in the Rothwell, Rothwell classification uh, were fact-based questions followed by value and then uh, policy-based questions. Overall, uh, the most common topic search was related to the evaluation of a treatment or surgery. So in Halix Valgus, there's different types of surgeries you can have, and so it was mostly questions evaluating that. Um, the most frequent sources, however, were medical practices, followed by commercial and then by academia. So you search Halix Valgus surgery, highest chance was that you were going to have a medical practice uh, give you an answer. And so our one-way analysis of uh, variance revealed a significant difference in average quality scores among the five source types, with medical practices averaging the worst score. Now, it didn't necessarily mean that the information that they were saying was untrue. That's not what this was assessing. What it was assessing was the quality of article. Uh, did it have an author? Did it disclose any of its uh, financial ties or anything? Um, did it provide a date? Did it provide resources for you to go see? Were the uh, information, was the information produced? Meaning, was it studied personally in this article? Or, or could we find a reference where it was studied? Did it uh, tell you about the risks or benefits of said treatment that they talked about in the article? And a lot of those came from medical practices um, and did not include those things, which is what the criteria um, wants to point out. And so in conclusion, patients seeking online information and concerning treatment options for hallux valgus uh, appear to search for questions related to treatment efficacy and the restrictions associated with the treatment. And of course, the most common source type they see are medical practices. Um, you know, we recommend obviously that uh, online resources, especially medical practices, should do the JAMA benchmark and brief discern. And physicians should be aware that uh, patients are running into this problem. And so this would then prompt physicians to uh, guide them. So, uh, thank you and please email me with any questions.